Quantum Leap has kept us on the edge of our seat all season long as Dr. Ben Song, played by Raymond Lee, travels through time to put right what once went wrong. Now, after barely making it out of his last leap alive, Ben is facing his highest flying mission yet. Take a look. I will see if Ann can pull the manifest. Do you know the flight number? Uh, yeah. Oh, pockets. Q-Tress. Thank you. Um, Transglobal Airlines, flight number 349. Mm-hmm. I don't like that face. That's a bad face. EGA flight 349 goes down in the Atlantic tonight. Every one of these 366 passengers and crew are going to die. And Raven joins us now. Hi, Ray. How are Hi, you? Hi, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Good to see you. We're very excited about tonight's episode. It apparently involves planes and hijackings. Is this the hardest leap yet? They continually get harder. Uh, you know, it's just this one in particular is hard because we've lost the, the help of our AI supercomputer, Ziggy, because in the previous episode, some things got revealed that, you know, technology, sometimes you can't trust it, right? So we're flying blind here, so to speak, and uh, we're just trusting our human instincts and just kind of seeing how it goes. So, yeah, this one is particularly hard in that way. Right, so you just said Ziggy is on the fritz. Yep. And you also have an evil leaper somewhere in the mix. That's right. How does this impact the mission? Uh, hugely. Um, because this is something we didn't plan for. It's just constantly disrupting what we're supposed to do. So, uh, yeah, constantly messing things up. So we're heading into the season finale next week. Um, how, I'm um, sorry, will we get any more clues as to why Ben left in the first place? Yeah, so, I mean, we've, we've sort of found out that he leapt to save Addison's life, but, like, really why or how is still up in the air, but all the questions will be answered in the finale. Okay, so we're not going to be left hanging. We're going to oh, get... Oh, no, no, no. All we're right. going we're gonna to have some answers. We love that. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's talk about tonight's episode and your attire. <laughs> you uh, are going to be dressed as a female flight attendant. Yeah. Uh, the dress has pockets. It you has rock pockets. the heels. Yes, talk to me right. about this. Uh, you know what? There, there, there she is. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, uh, I realize the higher the heels, the higher the pain. And I'm, uh, I, I have a new level of understanding and empathy for uh, folks who wears, have to wear heels frequently, especially pencil skirts. Who knew you couldn't sit or you have to cross your legs and all that fun stuff because it can. reveals things. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm learning things every day. But I also have learned that having pockets and dresses are so clutch. So clutch. Yeah. You can keep the lip gloss in there, maybe That's a right. phone. Yes. Yeah. Your hands, you know. You have your hand, right? Keep your hands warm. It's cold being a woman. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you that right now, <laughs> wearing a dress in the studio. Yeah. Let's talk about these other outfits. So you get to play all different roles. So you've been a naval officer. Tell me about dressing up for the show. They're also a priest, I think. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so much fun. You know, I mean, I, I got into this you know, this, this line of work to play dress up essentially. And I get to do that and, you know, and I'm not doing like a law procedural where I have to wear a suit every day. Every time I go into the dressing room, getting my wardrobe done, it's something brand new and it starts to inform my character. And it's just, it's a dream to be able to be that flexible in terms of what I can play. Do you have a favorite look or leap from this season? I really like this flight attendant one. I mean, oh. you know, you saw a preview. Imagine just 42 minutes of that. <laughs> well, we're very excited. It's coming tonight. Um, you also said that um, any, I'm sorry, <laughs> your character mm -hmm. is a better person than you are. Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, the guy, you know, I like to think I'm somewhat empathetic, but here he is a person who is constantly putting himself uh, before uh, putting others before himself and constantly putting himself in harm's way for other people. I don't know if I could constantly be doing that to make that choice over and over and over. And that's one of the beautiful things about this show is it is, in essence, a show about walking a mile in another person's shoes. So you constantly have to see it through a different lens every time. So mm -hmm. it, with, with each episode that passes, I've become hopefully a little bit better. Well, you're amazing. We love the show. Thank you so much for stopping in. You can catch Quantum Leap tonight at 10 p.m. right here on NBC. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you for having me.